Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Friday Fight Night. I am your host, Darren Jacobs. And it's Steve coming down here with David around, uh, lurking around the ring. It's here tonight to address what happened at the end of the last show on Friday Fight Night. Uh, on Monday Mayhem, they destroyed the tag team champions following their match. And I guess he's out here to explain himself. I'm here to explain what happened on Mayhem a few nights ago. You see, me and David have removed the Vikings of Destiny as a threat. Chris Danger is injured, so no Danger family, and Team Brendan proved they ain't a match for us. We've destroyed our own tag division, and now we're looking for a challenge, and we've found one. So, we officially challenged Kazarian Zander and Patrick Green to a match at Uprising Pay-Per-View. Don't worry, you don't need to put your titles up for grabs. This is simply to show who the greatest tag team in all of WIW truly is. So if you're listening, you better respond soon because we won't wait for that long for a response. And a response already. I don't think they were expecting it this quick and it's Coach Wilson. Coach Wilson, he shouldn't be here. I don't think the Wolfpack were actually expecting them to respond so quickly, they weren't expected to be on the show, of course they're not participants of this show, but Coach Wilson, the coach of the linebacks, coming down here to address the challenge that's just been offered. Well this is interesting, neither one of the linebacks went to do it, and Coach Wilson, who we know to be a brave, brave man, is coming down here to address the challenge set out by the Wolfpack. But what does he have to say about the challenge? Let's have a listen now to Coach Wilson. You just made a huge mistake. Of course we accept the challenge. I was actually out here to challenge you, but you beat us to the punch. Now you have to deal with two very angry men who won't just prove they're the best, but will rip you apart limb by limb. So prepare yourself, because they're coming. Oh, and one more thing. Oh, look at Wilson! Look at what Wilson did! Oh no, what the hell? Look at Wilson! Oh, but look at this, David! Straight on the prowl, coming to help his teammate. Look at that! What a stupid decision from Coach Wilson. Why on earth has he just done that? Because now he's left alone. Because Orion and Green uh, and Patrick are not even here. And now he's left alone with both members of the Wolfpack. This was a terrible decision, look at that! A Bronx Black and several chair shots coming in now on the manager of the team and this is just a vicious attack. He's only the manager of the team, they don't even need to do this. He poses no real threat to them. He tried to leave a message for them on behalf of his team and he's paying the ultimate price for it here. And the Wolfpack dismantling Coach Wilson and playing to the crowd. Sending a warning shot to the champions on Monday Night Mayhem. And look at this shooting star press and a baseball bat. This is a relentless attack here from the Wolfpack. This is totally just destruction on Coach Wilson. And hold on a minute. Oh no. No, 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 David. Don't do this! Don't do this! This isn't necessary! It's just an old man who was trying to prove a point, represent his team, and to send a message. But now he's gonna pay for that and the wolf pack. If they do this, they might be poking the ball more than they already have. Look at this, David! Package pile driver! Right through that table! Oh my good lord! Through the table! Almost destroying Coach Wilson! Unbelievable scenes here! On Friday fight night, the Wolfpack have just dismantled Coach Wilson and we're gonna have to get some paramedics down here. I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to help him much. He's just been torn apart by the Wolfpack. Well that's gonna anger Patrick Green and Kazarian Xander. But they've accepted the challenge. So Uprising, we will see these two teams collide. But who will walk out on top? The Wolfpack making a big statement. Let's move on down the rest of the card. Well, shocking scenes to begin the show, and we will keep you updated on the condition of Coach Wilson. But for right now, it's not looking very promising for him. He looks like he's going to be hurt 
and we won't be seeing him once again for quite some time. This time, for medical reasons. A shameful attack from the Wolf Pack. But now we must move on to the rest of the car because we have another debut on our hands. This man is Trevor Jackson, and he is here for another traditional WIW debut matchup to start tonight's show. Stepping into the ring for the first time, it's a lot of pressure. And especially now that more recently, more people are starting to pick up debut victories. Stephen Miller, Big Willie, just to name a few. And now Trevor Jackson's got to step up to the plate and prove he has what it takes to be one of them men to walk out with a very rare WIW debut victory and make an instant name for himself. That's exactly what he wants to do. And he's got a tough task ahead of him to do just that. But how will he cope in tonight's match? His opponent, we are told, of course, it's at random as always. But his opponent, as we see marching down to the ring, is Loki. Good to see the general manager making full use of him for singles action. His tag team partner, Noah, out injured at the hands of the, of the Wolf Pack, who retained the Fight Night Tag Team Championships against them just a matter of weeks ago. But Loki wants to keep himself fresh. He wants to await. He's waiting for his brother's return so that he and the Wolf Pack, uh, he, he and, and uh, his brother, can go and destroy the Wolf Pack at its source. But it means bad things for everyone who steps in the ring with these guys, especially one on one. These guys are deadly people, the Vikings of Destiny. And Loki, ready to step into the ring to fill in the absence of Noah. One more time, missed out on an opportunity at Money in the Bank last week. But this week, ready to step in the ring one-on-one -on -one with Trevor Jackson. We'll see what he has in store for us today. Can he provide a decent debut? We will see. The bell rings and away we go. Look at that, already a fist thrown in by Loki. And look at that, didn't take that kindly, Trevor Jackson. And a downward spiral to start things off straight into the cover. Not eager to waste any time here. He wants to get that first victory. Remember, of course, very important that everyone knows this, which is why I say it at every match. It's not about whether you win or lose these debut matches. It's about showcasing your talent, showing what you have to offer, what you bring to the table. And the more you impress the general manager, the more likely you are to get pushed for title opportunities and uh, other opportunities such as Money in the Bank. Unfortunately, for Fright Night fans, it's all chosen all four members have been chosen for the Friday fight night money in the bank they will be joining three other members currently on Monday Night Mayhem in an eight-man ladder match but we have one more person to crown on that brand so be sure to check into Monday Night Mayhem to see who the eighth person into the money in the bank ladder match will be but tonight all four representatives from Friday fight night will be in a tag team match and you'll be seeing that tonight in the main event building up to the uprising pay-per-view but look at this Look, where is Loki taking Trevor Jackson here? Oh, look, a massive clothesline. Not interested in the count here. This ram rampaging monster right now. And Trevor Jackson just can't get, a can't get away from him. But Loki, look at this. He doesn't care for the count. He doesn't care about the match. He's here to just dismantle people. And once again, showing it that typical Vikings of Destiny mentality. Look at this. I don't know what the count's at now. I can't see the ref. But it doesn't look like he has plans to get back in the ring. Oh, hold on a minute. Oh, he does. He does have plans to get back in the ring. I guess he just wanted this one done quickly. Loki wins on count out. And embarrasses Trevor Jackson on his debut. Well, that was extremely uncalled for from Loki. I don't know what that's about. Just dismantles him on the outside. Just to completely destroying him, nearly snapping his leg in half. And then just running back in for the count out. And that is not typical Vikings of Destiny behavior. Well, maybe destroying them is, but winning by count out. That's an interesting way to do it by Loki. To start off the show. And uh, I'm not sure how kindly Trevor Jackson's going to take to that kind of debut. Hardly got to even show what he was capable of in this matchup. Well, an interesting... Development here from Loki doing whatever it takes to win, but still getting the destruction in as much as possible. A win for Loki, but I have a feeling this might not be the end of things if Trevor Jackson 
is, has anything to say about that defeat. Let's move on down the rest of the card. Next up down the line for this card is a man who we don't usually expect to see here in the middle of the card. Usually a main event man, but for tonight, it doesn't matter where he's placed on the card. I'm just not sure he'll care where he's placed on the card. He is the champ himself. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. The world champion making his way down to the ring to get some in-ring action in preparation for original Brad's rematch at the Uprising pay-per-view. It is King Sam getting himself some in-ring action tonight. He needs it. He needs to keep himself fresh and ready for Brad, who's going to be a hungry challenger. But you can definitely see that the psychological game between Brad and Sam has been won by Sam of the Wolfpack. So far, the losing streak that he claimed last week was coming to Brad has started. Brad is really struggling now, and at the hands of King Sam of the Wolfpack, last week Travis knocking him off. And this week, it looks like it looks like uh, Sam just going to take a break from Brad to get some in-ring action. But last time that King Sam stepped into a match that didn't involve Brad, uh, he was interrupted. And uh, that match ended up in a disqualification. And these two had a bit of rivalry with each other. But at Uprising, Sam plans to retain and keep all the titles. And his opponent tonight is Wilson Woodward, who uh, made himself quite known last week by attacking several people. But this isn't his only fight tonight, no. He's in uh, the main event as well. But he's chosen. Uh, the general manager asked around and said if anyone wants to take on the champion, that they're more than welcome to. And Wilson Woodward stepped up to the task and he said, you know what? I'm up for two matches tonight. Tonight he's in a tag team match, so I guess he doesn't need to take priority in that one. But Wilson Woodward, he's up for two battles here tonight. And it's, uh, we'll see how he manages with two matches. Last week, ended up ambushing several people and uh, all those ambushes failed. So tonight... He's back in the ring, and he's got to deal with the World Heavyweight Champion. And, of course, a tag team match later on tonight with all the Money in the Bank participants. Look at this, straight away just crashing him into each turnbuckle before a double underhook. Oh, beautiful move there. And that's how you get things started against the World Heavyweight Champion. Straight out the gate, not taking any prisoners. And Wilson Woodward has uh, had a rough couple of months. He, has, uh, he did well to get into the Money in the Bank, but since then, he hasn't really asserted the dominance that he would have hoped to. He's been trying to get ahead of the competition, trying to ambush them and get rid of them as much as possible. Hold on a minute, rolls up there out of the power bomb position into the cover, looking to just wrap this one up quickly. No! Oh, Woodward! Counters it with his own cover! And uh, Sam back with his own, and it's only a one. After all that. So Woodward trying to get back on track here, and that's why he's accepting two matches. He wants to show himself to be dominant. He wants to walk out with the Money in the Bank briefcase, if he can do so. But of course he steps in the ring with seven other men. One man still to be announced. But other than that, we still have, uh, we have seven already known to us. Oh, and there's a big elbow drop. The seven we know so far. We have the four from Fight Night which is Wilson Woodward, Liam Connors, Max Danger, and Ryan Austin. Hold on a minute, look at this, Woodward in a backslide driver. And King Sam off to a really slow start here. And uh, he's struggling a little bit, maybe a lack of in-ring action. He's uh, keeping him down, but he didn't seem to slow him down at the pay-per-view. But of course, he did choose the stipulation, he had complete control of that one. Uh, so yeah, we have Wilson Woodward... Uh, Max Danger, Ryan Austin, Liam Connors representing Fight Night, and on the Mayhem brand so far we have uh, Darmus, uh, Black Jesus, and the one other person. I can't remember who the other person is at the current moment. It will, it will come back to me at some point. But for Wilson Woodward, tonight's about making a statement, which is why he's taking on two matches at once. He's not afraid to back down from a challenge. But he's taking on a big challenge here in the current World Heavyweight Champion, King Sam. Who, not surprisingly, won the match at, high, at the pay-per-view 
at Warzone. He knew he was going to walk out the winner. He was so confident that he never even considered losing. And that confidence carried over into the match. And a massive frog splash there. Straight into the cover on Woodward. And it's only going to be a one count as well. And for King Sam, it's about coming out and proving each week that he is the best. That the Wolfpack are the best. And the Wolfpack made huge statements earlier on tonight. And King Sam coming out here. The only one in technically with a match, unless you want to count the onslaught on uh, Coach Wilson, the um, <laughs> a, a matchup. I definitely wouldn't. But, oh, look at this. Looking for a wheelbarrow neckbreaker. Connecting slap bang in the middle of the ring. And King Sam looking rusty here. He's not looking off to a great start and looking to take full advantage of that fact. Looking for a power bomb. Connects. And straight into the cover goes Wilson Woodward. Has the champion knocked off? It's a two count. King Sam really needs to get going here. It's just been a terrible start for him on all accounts. Maybe Brad's still lingering in the back of his mind. Remember the last time that he had a match without Brad. Brad did get involved. He attacked and he attacked very loudly. It must be said he made his presence felt. And King Sam must have that in the back of his mind. And taking a minute to recover here. And Woodward just let him. Because he set, had something set up in mind. Massive DDT on the apron. Well, what an example he's making to the World Heavyweight Champion. And remember, of course, if this is to happen, uh, that Wilson Woodward wins the money in the bank... That could mean big things for him. And right now he's taking it to the champion. Proving he's ready for it. And look at this. He's in the table. The announce table as a weapon. And King Sam all of a sudden with a fight back in this one. Big suplex. Count of five already. Wow, that was, the quickest, that was the quickest count I've ever seen. Count of six. King Sam's not interested in ending this and count out. Count of seven. He's back in the ring. King Sam with a slow start. But that doesn't deter, uh, deter him from fighting on this one. Looking for a power bomb of his own. And bridges into the cover. But the rope. Right there. And the King Sam so far has lately shown that he has a wide variety of moves available to him to put this one away. And he's looking to show one off right now. Oh, big move. That was, that was Woodward's move. I just recognized it. Woodward, Woodward getting embarrassed there. But look at this. King Sam looking to knock him off. There's the right knee. And he's not done yet. Look at this. Punishment being inflicted here by King Sam. Who clearly was not happy with Wilson Woodward coming out. And trying to def uh, trying to prove the champ wrong. Trying to hurt him. Trying to make him weaker for when he tries to cash in the money in the bank. If he is successful. But look at this. I think we know what's coming next. King Sam's got it locked in. Cross face chicken wing. Cross face chicken wing. Woodward's in trouble. Slap bang in the middle of the ring. There's nowhere for anyone to go. And he taps. Another victim falls short to King Sam, the world heavyweight champion, who makes Woodward tap. Well, he's got another match due tonight, so he better not be conscious. But King Sam makes another victim tap to the cross-faced chicken wing, and maybe that finisher is as lethal as it's proving to be in the world heavyweight champion. Making his presence known here tonight. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Here he comes, here comes Brad! Oh, from behind! And we were mad at, we surely were expecting this! Look at this, holding the title he held once before, oh no! Original Brad! With the title in hand, look at that! Taking down Sam! And Original Brad making a huge statement here tonight! What a big impact there, and this Uprising pay-per-view is going to bring the worst out of these two, you have to think! A big win for Sam, but original Brad making sure that he isn't forgotten for this uprising fan review. Let's move on down the rest of the card. Well, coming out here now is the television champion, Big Willie. After last week being knocked off by Soul Man Akira, is coming down here tonight to address the WIW Universe. I don't know what he has to say. Probably an apology for that defeat last week. But of course, last week he was attacked by Travis as well, so maybe he wants to address that issue. 
Well, we never know with this man, but he's been oozing confidence since winning the title. And we'll hear what he has to say right now. Hey, soul man! You want the title? You think you can beat me again? Come and prove it! I'm putting my title on the line right now! I'll destroy you! In an uprising, I'll destroy that little man, Travis as well! Because my name is Big Willie! And I got a big, big win! Well, a massive statement's been made by Big Willie! He's putting the title on the line right now! Is this the best choice, though, to do right now, especially with Travis lurking around backstage and he's doing all this just to send a message to Travis? What is all this about Big Willie taking a big risk here, giving Soul Man Akira an opportunity for the title here in this one? This was not expected, ladies and gentlemen. We did not expect to be seeing this here tonight, but Soul Man Akira has been granted an opportunity at the television championship. This is an impromptu battle, and it's a big risk for Big Willie, but the television championship is on the line here tonight, and we did not expect to see this right before tonight's main event. Soul Man Akira, after knocking off the television championship last uh, champion last week, has been granted an opportunity this week by the champion to have a title opportunity impromptu, of course, but Soul Man Akira. Not ready to back down from the challenge of this man, the champion, Big Willy, who wants to send a statement to Akira and to Travis to say not mess with him and that this title is going nowhere and he's hoping to do that tonight by having his first title defense. But this could be big problems, not just for, for Big Willy, but Travis as well, who is not here tonight. He's out on business reasons. And I guess Big Willy is taking full advantage of that, knowing that Travis would not interrupt this title match. And the television championship is on the line. And ladies and gentlemen, I am in shock. I did not expect to be seeing this tonight. But Soul Man Akira has a shot at the television championship right now. Right here. Tonight on Friday, fight night. And Big Willie not stepping down from the task. But he has to put on a better performance than he did last week. And look at this straight out the gate. What a running neck breaker. And you can you would never expect someone of his size to be running around quite as easily as he did and uh, as he has done there. And Soul Man Akira, after last week's quite quick victory against the champion, this week makes us is trying to make a statement and become the television champion. He'd be the third television champion in history, of course, Big Willie the second of the two, Travis the former champion, of course, beating King Sam for it. But we all remember that night back at Resurrection. And how he ended up having the title with the easiest of times. And look at this, Solman Akira. Fighting on here. Clothesline missed by Big Willie. And a clothesline connecting of his own there. Solman Akira. Well, this is a plot twist. And you've got to imagine that if there is going to be a, another rematch, it may not be one-on-one. -on -one. It may be a triple threat because Travis, of course, still entitled to, to a rematch. But Big Willie is taking a huge risk here. Granting the title opportunity to Soul Man Akira. Look at that, Uranagi. He's taking the risk, but he's doing it to make a statement. And that's all you can hope to do in this business. Make yourself heard. And Soul Man Akira with the drop kick, though. Akira might have Big Willie's number, but the title is on the line. This match is much more important than last week, where he was just congratulating himself, doing a victory lap after winning the title. Just days before. And look at this. Big suplex lifting up Big Willie. And this has not been the start that Big Willie would have wanted. He came out the gate strong. But since then, Akira goes straight back to last week with his domination of Big Willie. Oh, but look at this. He hesitated there and he's going to pay the price. Running knee. Devastating impact there by Big Willie. And so showboating for the crowd. He didn't have the best showing to start uh, his championship reign against Soul Man Akira. But now looking to make him pay for embarrassing him last week. But look at this DDT. Soul Man Akira determined to become the television champion here tonight. <clears throat> and what a statement it would be to knock off this man 
who has been so dominant since arriving in WIW. He's already knocked him off once though. But can he do it again when the title's on the line? The pressure is on and that could play a part. But he's going to hope that he can just do exactly what he did last week to keep him down. But to be fair, this time last week the match was pretty much over. And look at this big Willie. He's showing some great, uh, great agility there to uh, escape that. And now look at this. Oh, and a massive suplex just tossing him over the head. And the power moves are coming out from Big Willie. He's not letting up here tonight. And he might regret this decision. But for right now, he's doing everything in his power to get the job done. And Big Willie's taunting here once again. And he might be made to pay for that taunt. Here comes Soul Man Akira again. And look at that. A running leg sweep. And now stomping away on the limbs of Big Willie. That's a, not a bad tactic. Particularly the legs would have been a better idea maybe than the arms. Explode a power slam. And Soul Man Akira could be on track to do it again. Could be on track to knock off Big Willie for a second time and capture the television championship. But Big Willie refusing to let it happen. This massive man from Scotland refusing to lay down easy here. And now looking to wrap it up. Looking for a running power bomb. Connects. And right next to the ropes, he's not going to be able to break it up. Big Willie retains. Statement made by the television champion. Big Willie, who is still the television champion. The first person, the second person actually. To successfully retain, of course, Travis did retain his title the first week of defending it. And that's exactly what Big Willie has done here. And what a massive statement. Look at that running power slam. Almost putting him through the ring. And Soul Man Akira, despite putting up two big fights against the, champ the television champion, has been knocked off again. And for Big Willie, he knows he can celebrate. No Travis here tonight, but Travis must be watching backstage because that was a, uh, must be watching from wherever he is in his office, knowing that that message was sent to him on purpose. Big Willie did that to get the momentum, to get the psychological advantage, and it paid off brilliantly. But an uprising pay-per-view, will he be able to retain against Travis Cottrell when he has to defend it? Right there and right then. It's going to be a big test for him, but he's sending a message saying he's ready for the challenge. Let's move on to tonight's main event. Final match of tonight. It's been a great episode. It's been quite a short one, though. <laughs> As we said, quite a short one, but it's been a great episode. A surprise television championship defense. We had the World Heavyweight Champion taken out by his number one contender. We had Coach Wilson taken out in an ambulance following a Wolfpack assault. But now we have the main event, which is a tag team match between all four of the Fight Night representatives in the Money in the Bank ladder match. And first out is a man who's already been in ring action tonight and uh, was choked out by King Sam and the cross-faced cross chicken wing. It is Wilson Woodward, who has been particularly busy this month trying to prove his dominance. But every step of the way, he is falling short. The blindsided attacks are failing. His in-ring attempt against the World Heavyweight Champion was a loss. He hasn't been in top form, but tonight he steps into the ring with a partner who also is willing to do whatever it takes to get the victories. It is the super athlete. Oh, for God's sake. He's, still, he's got this still. Oh, my God. Why has this not been fixed? It's Ryan Austin, the super athlete. Here again tonight for some tag team action. Teaming with Wilson Woodward. Wilson Woodward did not attack Ryan after Ryan became the final entrant last week of the winning the Fatal 4-Way match. And I tell you what, he's a strong contender to walk out with the money in the bank ladder match. I'm surprised he didn't attack him. But I guess Wilson Woodward and Ryan, not too different. Not afraid of the blind sight attack. Not afraid to do what's necessary to dismantle their opponents. And tonight they team together and they're quite a formidable team together has to be said but they take on two people who have things to say about the attacks that have been going on recently one of these men was offered a money in the bank opportunity by Wilson Woodward funny enough at the pay-per-view that was Warzone but also at Warzone what he didn't want to see was um, 
was uh, a loss again from Wilson Woodward, and that's really when Wilson Woodward's struggles kept happening. And Liam Connors picked up the victory and became uh, an entry into the Money in the Bank ladder match at the Uprising pay per view. And he's here tonight to get some revenge on Wilson Woodward, but also to stamp some dominance down to the rest of the competitors. Next week on Monday Night Mayhem, we will be crowning the final entry in the Money in the Bank ladder match. And then following that, we're going to have a 4v4 tag team matchup between the four men from Monday Night Mayhem and the four men from Friday Fight Night. So if there are if all these aggressions and hostilities are still going on here, which you know for a fact that they are, they're going to want to get them out here tonight because they've got established dominance over the other brand. And although he's the GM of both, Blake Austin will accept nothing short of victory from one of the brands. He can't have either one of them disappointing him. They've got to show their stuff. They've got to show why they deserve these money in the bank contract possibilities. Because remember, the winner of this has a very high chance of becoming a world champion. And that is a very, very true statement that we need to acknowledge. But Max Danger now. His tag team partner for the evening. After losing his brother, uh, after losing his father, excuse me, to injury after a no holds barred match at Warzone with Big Boss. He steps in the ring tonight, and I'm sure he's going to want to get some revenge on the Big Boss if he can. But Big Boss not on the card tonight, which you think might be a little unfair considering Wilson Woodward's been in two matches tonight. But nonetheless, Max Danger here tonight, teaming with Wilson Wood, uh, Liam Connors against Wilson Woodward and Ryan Austin. Here in tonight's main event, building up towards the Money in the Bank ladder match, which is going to be a big one. And one of these men may walk out with the title, but there are four other hungry people waiting to come into that match as well from the other brand. Three we know, and one we don't. But soon we will find out who that fourth man is. But Liam Connors and Wilson Woodward are going to start this one off. And these two have been battling for the last couple of weeks. Wilson Woodward, of course, winning the, title, uh, the opportunity from Wilson Woodward as they faced one-on-one -on -one in an open challenge at the beginning of the last pay-per-view. Big takedown there. And Liam Connors then got attacked backstage by Wilson Woodward. But that attack went the, away from Wilson Woodward and he ended up coming out on top. The same happened with Max Danger. After he got a spot given to him, he was attacked by Woodward, but he managed to get the better of him in that situation as well. And Wilson Woodward may be trying too much to try and prove his dominance. A massive clothesline. Look at this, going to crawl out to make the tag. And in comes Ryan once again with the glitchy attire. But, you know, got the do with what, uh, make do with what we got. I don't know why it's like that, so I can't fix it. Big spear by Liam Connors. Ryan back in the ring the super athlete of course was the finalist for the world heavyweight championship tournament just a couple of months ago and look at this went for a close and went for another one couldn't connect and a big crash down to the knee and Liam Connors and Max Danger straight out of the gate going well here and we might be seeing Max Danger coming in for the first time here tag is made in comes Max Danger and look at this up on the shoulders Oh, and a beautiful move there. Rolling Thunder and a double stomp from Max Danger. Maximum insult to injury there. And now Max from the middle rope. Big splash. And straight out of the gate. This has been impressive from them. We didn't quite expect them to come out as strong as they are, have been. But look at this. Oh, and a big deadlift suplex. Uh, yeah, big deadlift suplex from Max Danger. Who in recent weeks since debuting, has shown to be quite a dominant character in WIW. His dad has not done as great as he has. Chris Danger has really struggled in WIW. Uh, even in the trial era, even though he was Money in the Bank. Uh, uh, no, he wasn't Money in the Bank. He was a King of the Ring winner at one point. Just tossing him across the ring there. Max Danger and now looking to tag into Wilson Woodward. And Max trying to establish some dominance. I might have said Chris a second ago. Because I was talking about Chris. But his dad, of course, is a champion across the world. He's been multiple time WWE champion. 
United States champion. He's wrestled in New Japan, uh, Lucha Underground. He's wrestled all across the world in various different arenas and shows and franchises. But WIW is just one place. He hasn't captured a title, and that is why he is trying so hard to get it. But his efforts to prove his dominance in WIW was stopped short by uh, Big Boss, who injured him just a few weeks ago. But Max Danger, to my point, has a lot to prove in this business. To prove how great he is in comparison to his dad. And now look at this. Another deadlift power, power bomb, this time by Wilson Woodward. And Wilson Woodward had a good showing against the World Heavyweight Champion earlier. Couldn't quite get the job done, but King Sam right now proving to be dominant for most, so he shouldn't take it too much. I think maybe he tapped out slightly earlier than he might have done because he was planning for this match and he didn't want to pass out and get completely out of that match. And now look at this. Up on the shoulders. Max out. Big slam down. And look at this. Max Danger, already interested in putting this one away. He knows Wilson Woodward's hurt. He knows he's been beaten already tonight. Spinning powerbomb. And straight into the cover, but he's on the ropes. Oh, and Connors making sure that Ryan was had no interest of going for the match there. If you um, if you hear a noise in the background, uh, I'm not quite, quite sure what that is. Might be a wolf by the sounds of things. But um, Max Danger fighting on here. And now look at this. What's he thinking? He's going top rope. He thought about which corner he wanted to do it in, but he's gone to this corner. And now look at the fly. Big headbutt. Now look at this. What's he got planned? He's dragging him to his corner. Tag made. In comes Liam Connors. And Danger and Connors have been in most of the control of this matchup. But Wilson Woodward has been trying to provide a fight back, but Ryan Austin has been doing the same. And now look at this. Liam Connors, what's he thinking? Oh, just crashing him into the top turnbuckle before tossing him back down. And Liam Connors has been really coming out the gate strong as of late since picking up his first victory a couple of weeks ago. He's been quite dominant. And of course, Wilson Woodward paid the price for giving him an opportunity. He got confident, he got carried away, he thought he was untouchable. And Liam Connors made him pay the price. And he got an opportunity to face him. And win. And get entry in the money in the bank. Look at this. Big shoulder tackle. Against the run of Wilson Woodward. And now looking ready to put him away. Looking for the leaf blow gut buster. To wrap this one up. For Liam Connors. He's already been hit with a double power bomb And Max out. But now trying to do the job here. Straight into the cover. And Ryan's going to break it up. And that was expected. Oh, look at this. Max Danger tried to get the jump on Ryan. But Ryan taking him down with the Lufes press. And look at this. Looking for a power bomb. Straight down with a power bomb. Oh, and jumping through there with an elbow. Well, Max out of the way for a moment. But Wilson Woodward left in the ring with Liam Connors. He needs to make a tag. He needs to get out of there. Because Woodward is in serious trouble. So Liam Connors trying to take full advantage of that. Beautiful move there. And he is down, and he could be out. Ryan has definitely kept him in this one. But look at this. Trying to wear him down here with the shots to the head. And Liam Connors just uh, continuing the domination, not letting off the gas as he tends to have done in the past. And looking for the stun off the ropes connects. And Liam Connors looked for him second there, thought about what he was going to do. And look at this. Hammering the fists away here, Liam Connors. And a stomp in the gut. And now picks him back up. What's he got planned for him? Oh, and once again down on the knee. Max Danger finally finds his feet again. And he's back up. And look at this. And Liam Connors really bringing it to Wilson Woodward. These two with quite, host uh, quite a lot of hostility towards each other. And that is being reflected here. In this ring. And now look at this. Big. Drop onto the knee. And another one. And one more time. For style. And Liam Connors is flying this one. This might want to be. This might be. 
one of his best performances to date. He's had some good ones, but usually his best matches end in him not walking out with the victory. But Liam Connors has come out strong here, and he hasn't slowed down, and once again hammering the forearms and the fists to Wilson Woodward. Look at this, just relentless, and look at this. The referee just kind of standing there, just watching him do it. He didn't seem to have a problem with him doing it. Straight into the cover, thinking that might be enough, and it could be. Ryan's not paying attention. Oh, and that's a very close two count. And that was very close to the end. And look at this, not letting up either, just continuing to attack him. in such a vicious attack it's been from Leon Connors. Bringing out that natural, brawling style that he has. And now looking to put him away again. This time in the middle of the ring. Looking for the lead blower, gut buster. Connects! Ryan might try and break it up. Can Max Danger beat him to the punch this time? One. Two. It's a two count, but Ryan breaks it up. Max Danger couldn't get there at all. Oh, look at this. Ryan flips out of it. Oh, and a massive clothesline. Once again getting the better of Max. And now look at this. Calling him to his feet. Oh, look at this. Ryan's dealing with Max on the outside. And, oh, and a massive clothesline by Liam Connors on Wilson Woodward. And Woodward... May have lost once tonight, but he refuses to lose again and lose twice in one night. That's not what he wants. But look at this, tied up in a knot here. Oh, and trying to snap the limbs off there by just stretching all the arms and legs. Into the cover. And Max Danger now back in the ring. Oh, and uh, went for a double, ax um, a double fish drop there. Couldn't quite connect it. I completely missed that shot. And Wilson Woodward's got him in Ryan's corner. Oh, now playing to the crowd here. That's an interesting tactic, considering he hasn't been in control of this one. And Wilson Woodward... Oh, no. He's going to get caught taunting. He has. Big mistake by Woodward. Connors might be tagged back in here. No. Max is thinking bigger. From the top rope. Oh, it slams him down. Power slam. And Woodward had his first spell of momentum there. Tried to get back. Could have tagged out and got to Ryan, but he couldn't do it. He got too confident and a spinning back fist for his troubles. And we know what comes next. Oh, and a big scoop up slam. But we're waiting for that power bomb to wrap it up here from Max. What's he thinking? Oh, I thought, <laughs> thought maybe he was going for an eagle eye, replicating his father there. But instead... He's going to finish this off the only way he knows how. With as much power and dominance as he can. Another massive power bomb. Connors this time is actually going to get Ryan. No, he's not. Ryan breaks it up again. And now Liam Connors from behind on Ryan. Scooping him up. And one suplex to him. Isn't enough. There's another one. And looking for a third one. This time a German. And Ryan rolls out of harm's way. Well, Ryan's down now. Can they capitalize on this? To the corner, Max Danger sends Woodward, who has been beaten down here tonight. And that's what happens when you try to take on more than you can handle. And right now, Max proving too much to handle for Wilson Woodward, who we didn't think would be doing much of the attacking here tonight. But he's decided not to tag into Ryan. He's had quite a few opportunities to do it. He's just refused to do it. And Ryan... Down on the outside, but now look at this. More tag team action here from Connors and Danger. And this is the problem with Woodward. Too much confidence in himself, and sometimes that can be costly. Crashing him into the other corner. Oh, look at that! Beautiful display of athleticism there from Liam Connors. Now to the middle rope. Look at the fly. Drops the knee. And now with a window of opportunity while Ryan is down playing to the crowd. He is hyped up. Ryan back to his feet. And Ryan is hurt, but trying to fight on. He needs to get back in there. He's still by far the freshest man in this ring. But Woodward refusing to let him make the, get another chance to tag him in. But even when Woodward had the chance, he refused. This match kind of reminds me of uh, Brad and Jack's Wolf against... Um, oh, who's it against? It was against Thomas and... Uh, and Tyson Jackson. Look at that. Hyped up again as the shoulder tackle connects. 
And straight back up. Eager to finish. And wrap it up again. There it is. And Ryan is down. He's only just got back up. He's not in a position to come break it up. Woodward gets knocked off in tonight's main event. And Connor's in danger. Pick up a big victory. Look at this. Ryan is furious. He cannot believe it. Another defeat. And this time it isn't his fault. Wilson Woodward just refusing to tag out. Despite all the damage he's taken. Tonight he's been trying to prove a point. And once again, just like last week. He's failed to show that point off. And he's taken another defeat. And this time it is completely his fault. Well, Max Danger and Liam Connor stand victorious. Could one of these men walk out with the money in the bank briefcase? Of course, tonight they work together. And they'll work again uh, with each other next week. As they go in a 4-4 four four tag team match. But they'll also have to work with Woodward and Ryan. But it seems that Woodward has no interest in working with these men. But... A big victory here tonight, and that's going to wrap up tonight's show. If I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy that. Uh, did enjoy all of tonight's show. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new, and comment your thoughts and feelings on tonight's show. And I will catch you guys in the next.